Justice is a French electronic duo that makes certified bangers. Really? Yeah. Oh my cool. gosh. Well, hopefully this is a certified banger yeah. to you. Hello everyone, we are reacting to Dreamcatcher's 2024 Justice music video released on their Virtuous album, which is a sequel to their album called Villains. Fans theorize that Justice's message is one in reply to OOTDs, which is OOTD, this my fashion, shut up, no more questions. So in this music video, Justice can be described as grandiose and empowering. Instead of being the villains like an OOTD, this time Dreamcatcher are the heroes and warriors fighting for justice with power and rage. The chorus is a key element as they belt out, Justice makes me fight! While OT OOTD shows the selfishness and narcissism of people going to the extreme to get likes and views on social media, this comeback is about those who stay true to themselves and reject the temptation of the crown. It's interesting as a K-pop group to make something with this message. We'll see how they tackle it. This song is composed by the one and only Olaunder, along with the newer producer Tank Tonkso. Zoo or Tonkso, along with Dor writing the lyrics for the song. So welcome Tonkso to the Dreamcatcher world. And we're starting off with what looks like a classical painting. Three, two, one, justice. May they descend as heralds of justice, justice to exterminate evil, evil from, from the world. world. Secret diary. Nice nails. Ooh. And guide those sacrificed by evil. So is this the evil eye from... Oh yeah. And there was also the tree, which could be the tree of language. No. Let her set her free, please. <laughs> Such I a deep sub. Yeah. They're slowly adding in more and more instrumental. Survive. Survive. I feel like we're back to like <laughs> Dreamcatcher, like Deja Vu era, you know? The, the theatricality. I do have a fan pointed at me right now, but I think the goosebumps are being caused by the music, not the fan. Oh my god. Clap. Clap. Some Fallout Boy stuff. So there's a lot of lower registers, so will it uh, stand here? Yes. Okay. Oh, the violin! Oh. <laughs> oh, now you see that little oscillation tremolo thing. It really works, because it's like... Mm. Oh, that was a nice little cadence. Oh, let's go. I love his voice. It's That's so right. good. Absolutely. Oh, longer than, than expected. I like it. Satisfied with the length of this Dommy verse. Eagle. 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 <laughs> I liked that. Do you think in the live she says it twice? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I guess we didn't have the first part of the pre-chorus from before. We just went to the barrier part. True. What is the form? This is great. It's like a return to their metallic roots. I feel like the violin has changed to an electric guitar at this point, or maybe it was electric guitar this entire time, or it's an electric violin, I don't know. Ooh. Alive. Yoo Hyun still has my heart. Whoa, who in the back just like... She and... Oh, nice. It was like normally bridges back off right at the beginning. Oh, actually, it's the guitar part from the chorus, but just a lot less intense effects on it. I'm getting flashbacks to a Deja Vu music video. The third is on top now. Shh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I was hoping for that. Sounds like there's a little core choir in the background. Oh, that seventh, that minor seventh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great, it's great. Nice. It's so oh. like, Evanescence, like 2000s, like the pop side of metal. Wow. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. So why were you hoping for that? 
uh, it needs to escalate somehow. It's not just in terms of having like ad libs above, just like you keep hitting the same ceiling. Yeah. You need to break the ceiling at some point. Like Justin Make Me Fight is the same melody four times and they do change it up with production. Um, and of course they have like, they probably did it in post, right? I don't yes, think they're in the so. music theory. Ah! Oh. For that, I do wish that that melody itself had a little bit more variation, but there was a lot going on in the instrumental underneath that note being held out. And I'm glad that they broke through and rose to a higher note in the end. Yeah. So it's very interesting. You notice some of like the visual throwback to their past releases. Definitely. And I remember a fan I read a Reddit pointed out that Gahyan is holding a umbrella and in Boca, arrows are being shot at them. And so she's holding an umbrella to protect her from the arrows, but you see them still on her back. Mm. And then at the end, she has her own bow and arrow and she shoots the crown. So the crown is the symbol of evil expectations Van from society? Vanity. Vanity. I do want to figure out like form, instrumentation. Like this kind of feels like it is building up pre-chorus style. Yeah, because of the ascending chord progression. Okay, so, so then that's the pre-chorus. That's what I. But that, it, but it doesn't build up. Confusion, delay of the chorus. So confusion. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so this is like verse part two, maybe. Yeah, I think retroactively, but this does have the big build up, which is why I first thought that was a pre-chorus. <sighs> so confusing, but good confusing. The good kind yeah. of confusing. And I do love as they say, "Rise up." It sounds like a choir due to mm. either like they're actually being a choir patch or just them layering a lot of voices. Yeah. It's very powerful. See the way that the that electric guitar comes in, it kind of sounds like a bow to me, but it's probably electric guitar. The way that it's like plucked. Ta -ta 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 it's like the notes aren't as pizzicato as they could okay. be. They're a little bit uh, more drawn out. Yeah, there's a there's less of an attack. Or like, it's a slower attack. I love how in that lead up to the fight, they have justice. <gasps> breathe makes me breathe fight. Uh, they have so many breaths before, which just like adds more emphasis to this really drawn out. Yeah. No breathing there when that happens. Yeah, but that's a good point. Fight. Yeah, there's like fight, fight, fight. So something like that oh. ascending in the background. I believe it might be Olaunder or Tenkso because um, it sounds like male voices. I'm guessing it's Olaunder since I feel like I hear that kind of um, male vocal texture in a lot of their oh. songs. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, could we could, could we call it? What's that called again? <laughs> SATB for alto counter melody. <laughs> Eight years ago, I learned the terms that I'm trying to say right now. Eight yeah. years ago. This is this is my one critique. The only thing that made it less convincing to me is that the grit that they have in their voices and the kind of grittiness that they have and like the sound and in the rock style is not reflected in their faces. I, I think that like majorly affected how I felt about oh. this because they didn't like- They didn't look like they were right. acting that emotion. Seeing them sing it in this music video felt less convincing than mm. if I would just listen to it. Mm. But then when it comes to audio alone. The audio is, is sick. I really like it. So what were the most standout moments for you guys in this track? <laughs> I just really like Why are you that. laughing, Danica? <laughs> Part where she's like, eagle, oh, eagle. Oh, <laughs> those Dami's rap so at the very end. Of funny. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this Dami rap verse went like longer, or at least its position in the song made me believe it was just gonna be like a short thing, but then she went like double the length of what I expected, and that felt really good. I thought the rap was really captivating, and I really enjoyed it, both sonically and aesthetically, I think. I don't know who that is. She's Dummy. very beautiful. Dummy. I could listen to her like rap for hours. I very much enjoyed that rap break. 
it really balanced the sound of everything. Mm -hmm. Like of those high notes and just hearing like, like a very rich and chocolatey voice. Loved it. I was very into it. Rich and chocolatey voice. Rich and chocolatey voice. Chocolate? This song has like multiple things where it's like where you expect something to hit is shifted. Like we were talking about the pre-chorus that kind of sounds like it's built up like it's going to be the chorus the first time. And then the bridge starts out heavy and then gets light a few mm. bars in. Having the bridge start, start. out full intensity yeah. and then drop off shortly in was like surprised me. Like when, when it started, I was like, okay, I, I get the sort of bridge we're doing. And it's like, oh no, that's actually not the sort of bridge we're doing. But my favorite thing about this, every time they sing their high notes, you hear the notes sort of like vibrate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I can almost imagine myself in like a stadium or like a dirty bar. Whoa. And then the, 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 the speakers are like a borderline shot. And like, it's just, that's just the illusion that the acoustics in there. Oh, like that type of yeah. Feeling. Yeah. I that totally made it agree. really immersive. I think this is going to be a grower. Right now, I'm like, there are elements that I like, but also there's so much, ah! Yeah. <laughs> and there's like so much more that we crave, but I think with more listens and especially seeing it live, I think I'll grow to this enjoy, to enjoy yeah. this very much. I, I feel like it's a very enjoyable song. It doesn't have as many things to talk about as some, but I do overall really like listening to it. Yeah. I think a lot of the best Dreamcatcher releases, they, they borderline on a little bit of camp for me. A little bit of campiness and I think the entire aesthetic and their faces in the music video just drive that home and that's why I like it so much. Oh, there's just like a theatricality to it that, that border lines on like like a 70s it, it, Italian like, like a Suspiria like a, like a horror film. The whole experience is like a, a gothic sort of wow and this song really does it for me. Awesome. It's probably not like top three, but it's definitely like top six or seven. <laughs> yeah, of their esteemed catalog. Very satisfying. Nice Phrygian resolution. Oh, no harmony! <laughs> oh, she laughed instead of the oh. sound. <laughs> 